Welcome back. It's 644 on your Wednesday morning. We're working to get some answers to some of your most pressing questions about the coronavirus pandemic as it impacts all of us here in Western New York. And this morning we're taking them directly to Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul. She joins us live by phone this morning. Lieutenant Governor, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate your time during this busy situation. Let's get right into it. First question here with so many people now receiving their stimulus checks from the federal government either overnight or by the end of this week. We're still hearing about so many people who are concerned about not even being able to make a connection with the State Department of Labor to file for unemployment. So what gives here? Well, we have addressed this problem very aware that this has been driving people nuts. I mean, this is a 40 year old system that was accustomed to handling, handling 50,000 calls a week and it went from 50,000 to 10 million. So you can imagine that it would basically crash and it did and the governor admitted we had to do a lot of work and he's been working diligently as have I to make sure we change it. So as of last Friday, we took it down. We put up a new uh, streamlined application form. We worked with Google, get a brand new application. So we've reduced the number of questions. But the best part is, is that when people apply online, and that's really the best place to start, if it, you get to a point where it tells you you need to talk to a person to continue, and this is where there's been a real log jam, you leave your phone number and someone from the state will call you back within 72 hours to complete the application. So this is a dramatic change. You know, certainly in the early days, it's not exactly perfect, but it is going to be a, a, a dramatic improvement over the system that we know is not responsive and was a source of enormous frustration to us and to thousands of New Yorkers been trying to get this through. So we anticipate that this is going to be improved. Uh, it is being improved now. We've added from 300 to well over 1,000 people responding to phone calls, had to cross-train people from different agencies, so that mm -hmm. took a little bit of time. But, but we're in a much better position now. And uh, you know, I feel for all the people who've been just banging their heads against the wall trying to get through, and, and it should be improving now. Yeah, I mean, we're 45 days into this crisis by the governor's own count, and still, though, this morning, we're hearing those messages, though, of frustration. So was, this, was there no foresight here to kind of say, we need to improve the system? Somebody is saying that they've been trying for five weeks now to call and try and get this application completed, but they've called hundreds of times and still can't talk to somebody. Well, that, this, these improvements went into place. As, you, as I've said, it takes a little bit of time to train new people. I mean, the system worked before, and no one could have anticipated, just like all areas of government are under tremendous stress, as is society. I mean, look at all the changes we've had to make societally. So our system had worked. We were actually undergoing improvements that started a year ago, but they just weren't ready to launch yet. So we, we knew that this needs to be updated, but they just weren't ready in time for this crisis. And literally, when the pause started and this you know, really self-induced coma that our economy has been in sure. in our state, just, it happened almost you know, within a couple of days, we saw the numbers starting to go up. So, no, there was not time to anticipate this, but certainly we take responsibility for getting it fixed, and, and the governor has been aggressive in his response. And, Lieutenant Governor, uh, I also have one other question. The governor has said that the worst is behind us when it comes to the uh, pandemic and the number of people who are continuing to uh, be admitted to hospitals. Can you say the same thing about Western New York? Is there some mixed messaging here? Not mixed messaging, but we always knew that different parts of the state would peak at different points. So, so the governor is talking about the statewide average. And when you talk about statewide, the number of hospitalizations, the number of people in ICUs and the people on ventilators, those are really the numbers we look at to determine whether or not we've hit that peak. Uh, it's definitely been hit for New York City, but it did plateau at a very high level. So there's still a, an extremely high number of Lives lost literally every day, well, in excess of over 700 over the last week. That's a day. Um, so we've, we've been watching very closely upstate. I am literally camped out in Buffalo to uh, work with the county executive and our local officials here to make sure that they have whatever they need to respond and be able to address the needs of the community if there is a major spike. And I speak regularly to hospital officials about their bed capacity and they're still in a very good place because we stopped elective surgeries, so there's not all the other patients in the hospitals. And we also insisted that every hospital ramp up their bed capacity by at least 50 percent. This is over a month ago. So we're starting to see the numbers trend upward in Erie County. Uh, the county executive actually foresaw that, that we'd be lagging behind, as is other counties. Sure. Uh, other counties are, are creeping up. A lot of it, as you know, has to do with reporting coming out of nursing homes all at once. And, and that's really what's driven the numbers up in the last couple of days. 
Well, it sounds like there are some messages of hope and that brighter days are certainly ahead of us. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your time during this pandemic. And I know a lot of people have actually lauded the efforts of New York State uh, in being so transparent with what's going on, especially each day with the governor's briefing. Thank you for your time.